Hey, you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV. And today we're going to be starting a six part series of Internet Co's Sounded 8 Pro. So, this is basically designed to be an all in one audio editing, mastering, CD creation, and DDP duplication file creation kit. Meaning, you can edit your audio tracks, you can master all your tracks separately, put them in here, and then burn a CD with uh, codes in them, with track names and even create a DDP file for when you want to send it to duplication. Now we're gonna start off today's video with just the basics of the editing features. So the first thing is you're able to obviously drag and drop audio from outside sources. But if you click here on the media tab, it'll open up the media browser. And I have a section right here. This is a royalty free jazz loop that was sent to me. And the client wants this to be fixed because he has a very obvious issue with the audio file that was sent to him. So obviously we have an issue where somewhere down the line, the track got a big pause. It's probably because of the recording. I mean, this is royalty free, so you can't really expect much out of it. Now, all audio editors have the ability to cut, copy, paste, use the trim tool, uh, merge audio files together, erase audio files, undo and redo, zoom in and out, and make markers. But what makes this really interesting and really different is let's say I cut this and then I want to cut this. I can undo. But I also can, if I hit Control Shift Z, have an actual undo history so I can see everything I've done. Another thing is you're actually able to use these little red markers if I add them here. And what this does, this is basically splitting your files. So let's say you've recorded a long interview using the same recorder and you want to separate them for your takes. You can just select little markers and then you can just go to the file and then save split region. This will basically turn it into several audio files. If you don't want to do that, you easily just click right here, edit, highlight all of them, and delete. Now we're back to normal. So another cool thing is if I zoom in here and we just kind of take a look, we can see that it's basically just a kick hit about here and right about here, which means we, in theory, should just be able to grab it and cut this. Let's see how that sounds. We'll back up a little bit. That sounds okay, but I'm hearing a really obvious click. It's pretty obvious if you know what to hear, but it could be masked as a kick hit. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to make a super clean and clear cut. So I'm going to do this nice and close. We're going to zoom in just a little bit more. And I'm seeing that I'm not quite there. A really cool thing is I can hit edit and I have zero crossing. So one thing that I've not really seen in editors is the ability to actually adjust your selection by the zero crossing. So you can either go inwards, which basically shrinks it to fit the zero crossing, or outwards, which will expand it to fit the next zero crossing. Let's do inwards. So you'll see it moved a tiny bit. Now what we can do is we can uh, right-click this. We can cut and paste with crossfades. This is another really powerful tool that this has that not a lot of other audio editors do, is you have the ability to actually cut and paste with crossfades. In this case, we're going to want this really nice smooth one, and I think 30 milliseconds should be fine. We can even make me bump this down to 15. Now we cut, and there we go. Now let's see how this sounds. It should sound a lot better. We'll zoom out, and let's see if we can uh, see the difference. That was perfect. So we'll zoom out and we'll select a random region and let's see if we can see where the edit was. So one thing that's a lot different is you don't get that audible high-end click with the kick drum. And that's the one thing I heard when I did the original edit without doing this, is I heard the click. It almost sounded like a beater hit, but it was obvious distortion. And if we zoom in a little bit more right around here, it really, really clearly and carefully just cut it right where it needed to be. And then we have another kick drum right there. If we zoom out, we can actually see in here the two kick drum hits. That is good to go. Now I can start focusing on the rest of the track. So that'll be it for this video. But stay tuned for the next video in this series, where we will cover a lot of the more powerful processors that come in Sounded 8 Pro. This is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.